Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special video. Uh, to a very, very special episode, I should say. I'd like to thank the creators of Enshrouded for sending me this key. Uh, I'm very excited to give this game a try, as you could... I, I think you could see there for a moment uh, that I did have... Yeah, there it is. I do have a little character that uh, I give a shot with. But it, w it was quite literally five minutes of gameplay just to make sure that the game uh, could... That my computer could run the game. I have no idea what this game is about. Uh, so we're going to start... We're just going to start on a new one uh, and see how it works. So I'm very, very excited to see how it works. Yeah, no, I just wanted to, to thank them all very much for sending me a key to this game. Uh, I have a bunch of friends of mine that have played this game at one point or another, and I wanted to give it a shot. And uh, it makes me very happy. Uh, it makes me very happy that I get to do it because Keen Games was very, uh, Keen Games was very generous, uh, in sending me a key to the game, and I wanted to, I wanted to give it my my best shot and see how it works, see how it plays, see how it feels. Now you might be noticing that we don't have a reactive image today or a little PNG tuber. Um. I don't know. I just felt I just felt like a new game like this warranted the entire screen. So I'm I'm curious to see how it's going to work. Let's see how it works. Oh. Right. Here we are. Cool. So we start. This looks like Moria. Oh, I guess I do keep the stuff that I had from before. Yeah. So yeah, it it has that Moria feel to it. What is happening with the graphics here? Actually. It shouldn't be. Huh. We should have been at max everything. Yeah. Resolution scale at 100%. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Ah, okay. There. You've slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Ember Vale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. We'll do flame, uh, flame boy. Oh, this looks cute. Look at that. Oh, I like this. I, I do feel like my character is a bit too short. I don't, is it just me, or do I feel a little bit too short? A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Uh, so, M for map. Cinder Vault. Long Keep. Planes for first base. Alright, we're gonna go down there. Listen, I'm a sucker for games that start off on the side of a mountain. I, I, I'm just going to be honest. Anytime that I have to climb down a mountain, anything that has to do with mountains, I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, yeah, all right. Anything that starts on the side of a mountain, 
is a W for me. I believe that is the shanty. Huh. Got a little stuck there. Don't know why. I believe this is the shroud. This, uh... This fog. The flame allows you to resist the shroud. If you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Oh, we have a title. All right, baby boy, show me what you can do. Ooh. Rusty short sword. Shit, I'll take that. Oh, I don't think that pauses. I don't think that pauses the game. Yeah, no, it does not. Nice. Okay, I guess it's pretty lucky that I found a sword, like, immediately. There we go. Ah, I see there on the top left, rested. Sheltered, warm, comfortable. Which means that if I'm out in the open like that, it doesn't count as sheltered. Aha, I see. Increased stamina maximum and uh, regeneration. Cool. If you fall, you'll arise again at your last return beacon. Thank you. <gasps> Mushrooms! Nice. Okay, reach the plains. We're gonna claim a spot for our base. What is that tower up there? I want to go to that tower. Oh, we got little we got little goats. That's a shroud area, I guess. Is that a wolf? I that looks like a wolf. All right, come on now. Music is very on point. Uh, that was a very quick little thing. Okay, build a flame altar. The flame altar will mark the spot for your base. In your base, you will later be able to craft and build shelter. Craft the flame altar and place it to establish your base. You don't have to place your altar in the plains. You can choose any above shroud area to establish your base. I see. Above shroud. Oh, then I'm guessing... Hold on. Oh. Oh, what? Am I a tastier morsel than a, than a fucking sheep? That's what I thought. It said above shroud, which makes me... Aha. Interesting. Okay, let me let me get up here, because I'm, I'm actually curious to see what it looks like. Damn. That's pretty sick. What is with the red areas? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought for a second I had just killed myself with the, uh, with the sheer amount of, um, fall damage. That's what I, that's the word I was looking for. All right. Is that a rabbit? <laughs> kind of is. Uh-huh. Cool. Got to cook it first. So, to build... Uh-huh. 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 Yes. All right. So, to build, I need stone. And I have one. All right, I need string and wood logs. Construction hammer. A string to get an axe. 
Okay. String is our next order of business then. I'm gonna guess that I'm able to make string using that plant fiber. Um Although, the hatchet should be enough to cut trees, right? Uh, sure. How about right there? You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient forts. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside the shroud's grasp. All right. Uh, oh, interesting. Gotcha. Rename altar. Kevin. <laughs> uh, all right. I want... Can we craft? String and wood logs. String. There it is. We can make an axe. There we go. Hell yeah. Damn. Damn. In other games, like... Cutting trees is an ordeal, and this one is just like, <laughs> I just mogged that tree. Damn. I have a feeling that this one is not going to go down so easy. That uh, GT fate. Alright. Alright, there we go. Okay. Let's get some stones. Um, a workbench would be nice, so would a campfire. I'm gonna put that there. Put that here. Okay, this is for cooking. Interesting. I'm guessing it's going to be based on the color. Okay. Grilled. Let's cook some mushrooms. Grilled. Oh, I... Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I can't cook those, I guess. Cool. Let's... Uh, actually... Glider? That's pretty fucking sick. Shroud wood... Grappling hook. Uh-huh. Alright, that's fun. That's gonna be our construction. Alright. Let's head over. Let's head over to our next waypoint. I like the vibes. I like the vibes very much. This idea that you're pushing... Pushing against the world that pushes back. I enjoy that. Alright, come on. You don't even mew. You don't even mew. Mogged. Uh, the brain rot is speaking a little too loud today. can sleep there that's good uh oh that makes me sad i wish we could take that the raiders have besieged us these past two days attacking from the bridge their eyes such madness we have withheld so far but only just we may not survive the next assault i've ordered to rig the pass with our lost munitions 
If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Ooh. What an arrow. Cool. A flint arrow. Now we just need to find a bow. Um. String. I'm guessing... Yeah, so it seems that it did come to pass because the bridge exploded. Can't take that spear. Don't like that. <clears throat> Maybe it's just environmental storytelling. Oh, I see. Oh, he's going to make us walk into the shroud. You can't proceed without a grappling hook here. Seek a path through the shroud instead. Yeah, makes sense. I, I know why they have to put those things... Oh. Oh, so I can collect these. That I really enjoy. Love... Oh, excuse me. Love that. I got the hiccups. Really enjoy that. Environmental storytelling with uh, a little reward for those that actually go to the bridge and explore. It's like a reward. What do we got? What an arrow. We're hungry. We have to destroy the bridge. We withered our connection to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Ah, the choice is certain death. Alright. Another... Yeah, another torch. Ooh. Ooh, I hear. I hear. I hear? Goblinos, perhaps? Stay on the path, lest the Shroud's kin take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Okay. Alright, we going. Zyroglass. Zyroglass capsule replenishes your remaining triangle of shadows. Consumed upon use, it cannot be stashed in your inventory. I don't... Okay, yeah. I had a feeling that it was going to be... What is this? Yeah. That is a big fucking skull. Alrighty then. Alright. I should have known better. This is really interesting. I'm liking it so far. It gives me that 2002 PC adventure game feel. What is this? Oh. Sick. say that hey there's nothing else here nice climbing mechanics so it does use okay does use stamina though which I might not enjoy very much campfire cool I have it To all who set their eyes upon my wondrous... No, allow me to begin again. To all travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid it's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished, and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it all. How lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for materials and all. One thing I do know. I'll name this bridge Braylin. After my dearly departed fifth dawned. Though if she were still alive, I'm not sure she'd be flattered. For her and the bridge share not just the name, but a brush nature. Signed, Gade Hawthorne. Alright. Take these. Uh, can I do this? 
Does that replenish my health at all? I guess not. I need to be warm in order for in order for that to work. Oh, that's funny actually. If I do this and then I run out, that increases my <laughs> Alright. Uh let's go. Uh, might as well eat that, right? Maximum health increased. Magic bonus. Health regeneration active. That's what I wanted. Yo! I'm gonna steer clear from you guys. <laughs> It buzzes and it flies. Stay near it. Those who stay near it dies. Something like that. Bushes can conceal you when you're within them. Yeah. Uh. Okay, yeah, I, I had a feeling. Can I even fight them? Like, I can't lock into them. Oh. I can do that. Cool. Alright. Well. Oh. I'm pretty sure they already see me. Ah, I can parry. Cool. The other guy. What did he say? Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Okay, so I cannot move while I fucking heal. Got it. Great. And we're back to Kevin. God damn it, Kevin. God damn it, Kevin. So... Do I just... Wait? Oh. I... Fuck it. Let's just go. I ain't got much to lose. What is that? Firefly. Cool. wooden logs Grab that okay that's warmth can I well I'm going to cook these mushrooms
Do we have anything else? We don't. I do want to add this. Oh, I should have been using those too. Hmm. A shield would be nice. Damn, we can. Okay. Cool. We have a shield. A very similar pose to Link. guy who has only played Breath of the Wild. Getting real Breath of the Wild vibes from this. <laughs> Alright. We may be cold, but we are well rested. Off we go. Let's get in there, baby. Okay, well... <laughs> saws. Oh, I guess I got a ring? What does it do? Oh. Oh, it was Captain Arkwright's ring. Okay. That's sad. I gave him my favorite voice. Hello, Anya. Welcome to the stream. We're playing in Shrouded because the incredible people that made this game sent me, uh, sent me a key to it. I always feel bad because I forget their name. Keen Games. That's what it is. You started playing Metal Gear Solid 2? Finally. Hell yeah. It's a fantastic game. I think you're really going to like it. Alright. Here we are. Mm hmm. I need to go deal with the buster that killed me. How are you liking Metal Gear Solid 2 so far? It's a good fucking game. Feeling bad already because I broke the immersion by exiting the game. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Jesus, dude. What? I was... I was blo... Okay. I was blocking, but I guess not. Kevin, you fucking failed me again. Alright, can I... Man. Feeling bad already because I broke the immersion by exiting the game. Well, there you go. See? But yeah, no, if you play the game way too much, the, the, the characters are going to tell you to stop playing because you've been playing for too long. No such thing as breaking the immersion because you quit. You have to, otherwise they tell you to quit because you've been playing for too long. <laughs> Alright, let's get that rested with the rest thing. There we go. I want to make sure that we that it goes as high as possible. Also, I needed to watch five minutes of gameplay on YouTube to understand how I'm supposed to interact with the game, but it's okay now. Oh, there you go. It's an older game. It's not 100% clear at all times. Hold on. I'm watching... I'm watching a video. Jesus Christ, bro. What the fuck was in that boat? Damn. Just blew up. Alright. Be real nice. Yeah, old game, but the controls are actually pretty good. Well, there you go. See, it's one of the reasons I really enjoy that game. It's, uh, despite 
despite how old it is, that game holds up extremely well. Alright. Let's go. I wonder if... Okay, yeah, no. Enemies don't respawn after I go to the, the altar. I'm guessing they do, it's just that that one doesn't. Alright. Let's go fight the one guy. Can we do that? We'll use the explosive powder ball later. I see a dude up there. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay. There's the dude. Is this survival slop or a pretty good game? So far, it's a pretty good game. I've heard very good things about it. Alright, come over here. I was blocking! What the fuck happened there? It's really hard to fucking play the game when I can't see the enemy. And yeah, I get it. It's the middle of the night, but like... Almost got him. Cool, we got one. Is this soul survival? Essentially. Uh not really. It's it's a survival game. But it's not a souls like. Feels more like a EOTW. A breath like. Okay, I guess. Ow! So the projectile, the projectiles just go through everything. All right. Okay. Cool. The projectiles go through it. Lesson learned, I guess. Fuck me. I mean, they gave me a key to play it. They're very generous of them, so I don't want to. I don't want to be ungrateful. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that the projectiles go through things. I'm gonna be expecting my projectiles to go through everything too. Which I can tell you right now, it's not gonna happen. All right. Yeah, you can stay over there. I don't even know where I'm going now. This is not where I was. Not where I'm supposed to be. But if there's items. Finally, a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore. With the warmth of a fire, a little shelter and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. I'll make for a nice meal when cooked over the fire. Uh, thank you for the rations. Thank you for that, thank you for that. All right, let's let's cook it. Rations, not Russians. Russians. Huh? I guess I can hear it. these oh well, I'm hoping I'll be better at this game in the daylight <clears throat> to metal gear pilled no such thing be metal gear pilled is for uh it's for life so you better get used to it also I wanted to say 
give congratulations to my little brother, Felipe, for graduating. My baby boy brother has made it through college. Unscathed, I might add. Bro is just built different. But yeah, no, he's made it through college, and I am so proud of him. I can never explain how proud I am. All right. Let's push through this and get to those enemies because, goddamn. College made me depressed. Yes. Welcome to the college experience. I don't want to diminish your experience, but uh, I feel like anybody that goes to college and doesn't get depressed is pretty popular or rich or all three at once. There's no, there's no in between. All right, let's get up there. Why? Oh, I was about to say, why are my ankles so ashy? It's because I'm, <laughs> it's because I'm wearing fucking bandages. I'm not messing with that guy until I have a fucking ranged weapon. Cause this is stupid. He was able to just shoot me through. Oh, but I want my shit. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Can we approach without him seeing us? Okay, he's looking. Come here. No. Oh my god, that's half my health, bro. And those are traps. I'm not going to walk on those. God damn, son. That's half my health. Holy shit, stealth. Person who has only played Metal Gear Solid before. Stealth? Hmm. Getting real Metal Gear Solid vibes from this. Alright, let's get up here. Is there anything... I can get. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'll be. Okay, I will be. Okay, we're going to heal. Six seconds of healing. We should be all right. Ah, rattle me bones. Okay. Water. Wow, we haven't had water this entire time. We're doing great. So, it's over for me. Yeah. Welcome to... Welcome to being a Metal Gear Solid fan. You're going to... Slowly but surely understand... That, uh... Kojima is the single most visionary creator of the past 20 years uh everything that he predicts in metal gear solid 2 comes true everything that he predicts in metal gear solid 4 came true everything that he predicted not everything but a lot of the stuff he predicted in death stranding has already come true so uh enjoy losing your mind uh you're one of us now all right cool made it through here i want to keep going towards our main objective I don't fall. That's not what I meant to do. How about I jump? Okay. What did he predict in Death Stranding? You mean a society where a cataclysm has happened and everybody is separated from each other and rely on delivery people that uh, deliver things directly to their, to their houses and domiciles and are losing faith in each other and faith in the institutions that are meant to protect them? That Death Stranding? The one that came out in 2019? Right before 2020 where a specific event happened? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> the 
This game is punishing in a, in a way that I'm not super happy with yet. Like, yeah, it'd be great if I could take a running, like a running start and then jump off to go back. But no, the game makes sure that I'm only able to... Wait. Yeah, fucking... Give me my shit. Oh, seriously? Oh my god, man. Oh, whatever. Whatever. All of my shit is up there. And I can't get it. Because... Oh. Alright. Whoever decided that... You're wrong. I'm sorry. You're just wrong. To be honest, I think anyone could come up to the blue society will be isolated and losing faith in everything during a crisis. Yeah. Now that it has been done, anyone could come up with it. No one had done it until then. <laughs> That's the point. That is that is what it means to be a visionary. You figure those things out before others other people do. Kojima did it. No one did it before him. Like after Star Wars was created, suddenly everyone knew how to tell a story in space. <laughs> After Tolkien wrote Lord of the Rings, suddenly everybody had ideas about a medieval uh, fantasy story. All right, come here, you bitch. Fucking hell, bro. Like, this game was meant to be played with other players, as far as I know. What is this? I am not drinking that. That is just going to kill me. Like, sure, instill a sense of peril instill a sense of oh you can't trust the world but make it fair man this is a little frustrating combat is not very good by the ancients i've done it equilibrium a subject sleeps yet can be awakened they are dead yet alive the subject does not decay, is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof. We can survive. We can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. All right. Thank you, Balthazar. What are you made of? Water. Okay. Yeah, this automatic, like, grabbing onto a thing going down, I get it, but not for a game where platforming is a thing, especially when you have to run and jump. The cinder vessel broke during, down during testing. The rat I used was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effect of blindness was only temporary. I have acquired a new subject. Another rat. Igni. Hopefully our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds as if my life depended on it. It may well. 
Alright. Uh, ooh, repair equipment. Oh, it's just, it's just free? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, didn't expect that in a game that's supposedly hard. Um, alright. The battering ram. I'm guessing those guys were forcing their way in. Alright. Come on. There's no stagger to them, man. Like, they can always hit you back no matter what. I'm hoping that later weapons actually have stagger. Can't wait for July 30th when the spiritual successor to StarCraft comes out, Stormgrade. That's my birthday. I also can't wait for that day. It's done! The Cinder Vessel is a delicate contraption. Stay volatile yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Alright. Alright. Uh, was he supposed to be in here? Oh no, he's right there. <laughs> Dumbass. Oswald Anders, the blacksmith. Uh, summon the survivor. Oh, I see. Okay. Place him in your home with a summoning staff. Got it. Time to go back home. What is that? Bridge construction report. Kevin. Am I able to fast travel here? No. Whatever, we're fast traveling. Here we are. Um, we are going to make... Miss Survivor will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple tweaks. Alright. Thank you, Kevin. Um, construction hammer, summoning staff, cool, yes, bring me Oswald. Hi! Oh, hi! <laughs> Hello! At long last I return, I'm a humble blacksmith at your service. Let's prepare you for what's to come. Alright. Tell me what you need. Okay. Uh. <laughs> took you long enough to find me. Look at you. Weak and puny. And they call you Flameborn. First thing you need is equipment. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword, a spike club, or some armor will serve us well. Okay. Oh. Embervale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. Lad, the shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the deaths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, flameborn. Uh, alright. Cool. Forge. We need metal scraps, charcoal, and stone. We are going to need the charcoal kit, uh, kin first, so we're going to take that. Pickaxe, lockpick. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see. We need animal fur. Cool. Okay. Also can't wait for August 6th when the Helldiver 2 major update comes out. Me too! I'm very excited for that. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so... Alright. Got it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna 
equip this. should do some hunting before I actually push out. All right. It has been about 50 minutes. We're going to go a little bit more to finish an hour. I also can't wait for August 12th, 2036, the heat death of the universe. You heard it here first, folks. The heat death of the universe broadcast to you live. Well, at least the goat staggers from getting hit with a sword but you heard it here first folks don't forget to don't touch that dial tune in tune into radio outer heaven where you'll watch the heath death of the universe we'll be doing a giveaway <laughs> of an extra second to live squidward from the spongebob show said it first from the spongebob oh my god <laughs> it's just a really funny way to say it. Squidward from the Spongebob show. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Alright, man. Alright. 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 Okay, there it is. God damn. What the hell, man? Yeah, sorry, Nightbot doesn't allow uh, links to be posted. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Alright. Are there... Goblinos! And a Wolfino! All right, let's see what this does. Watch oh, it be poison. Oh, it's an elixir. Okay, send it out or have a Discord. Cool. What is that noise, bro? Ugh. Brother. Ugh. Whoa! That is so not fair. All right. I can barely see with this camera either, dude. Like, how am I supposed to see what I'm fighting? See, these guys at least fucking, like, stagger, which is good, because then I can actually feel like I'm fighting something. Alright, that's my fault. Okay. Gonna be honest, this, the the camera's not the camera's not very good. Okay. That deals shroud damage. Got it. All right, let's go outside. Let's touch grass, recover. All right. So this is essentially the the immunity mechanic from um, from Dying Light Two. Which I don't mind. Good idea. Executioner axe. Damn. Okay. Go off, queen. And use this just because it's easier, easier to see. Dungeon done. I'm guessing there is no way to just stop the shroud in this area. Well, no, I'm guessing there is a way. It's just I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, all right. Okay, we're going to make ourselves a little house. Uh, it's not going to be using that.
<sighs> oh man. But it's just me and my dog. I am not like I never have a good night of sleep. I'm not gonna lie. I love him. I love him to death. But goddamn. He is the most difficult dog to sleep with. He like he needs to be all up and about around the house. He needs to see everything that's happening at all times. He needs to know. He has to opine on everything. It's his house, not mine, right? So, God, I wish I had slept well. I really do. And I also had to wake up at like 3.30 in the morning to go watch my little brother's graduation. It was a, it was a live stream from England. So, I had to wake up very early. And as soon as that was done, I went back to sleep. But of course, my dog was like, oh, you're awake, which means we get to go do things I want to do. And no, what are you doing? Why are you trying to go back to sleep? Fuck you. We're, we're going to stay awake, and you're going to take me out for a walk. Fuck you if you think you're not. Like, who the hell do you think you are? I am. <sighs> my first mistake was uh, thinking that my, my dog was going to allow me... To go back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, let's put down the charcoal kiln over by Kevin. If you don't know who Kevin is, Kevin is the flame. <laughs> it told me to rename it, so I, I called it Kevin. There we go. Raft. Here you can track the production process. The factory will produce the selected recipe until no ingredients are left or the factory's inventory is full. Place your items. Place items from your inventory here to make them available for the factory. Uh, okay. Switch between the recipes you have unlocked for this factory here. Add available ingredients with these buttons. Reduce the recipe one or one or ten times. Okay. You can use shortcuts to sort inventories and quickly transfer items. All right. So. Yeah, we don't have enough. We need logs. I am going to make... And I make a... Box. Okay. Let's... Do this. Building mode. Okay. Sure. How do I make a chest? Is that a thing I can do? Um, a bow would be nice to have. Thank you. Rags. I need string. Alright. Rags. A slot available in backpack. Yes, that is why... Oh, actually, that is why I need a crate. So that's something I can do here. Elimination. Nope. Not yet. Well, it's been an hour, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I think I'm going to call it here. See if uh, any of my friends can join me for, uh, for the next time I play this game. I wanted to make sure to thank Keen Games very much for sending me um, for sending me a key to Entrouted. I have a lot. Of, I had a good time. This is very challenging game. Uh, I was not expecting it to be challenging in the way that it was, and despite my frustration, this seems like a very fun game, um, and I'm excited to try it with more people. All right, everyone, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.